I'm Felix, and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between being gender nonconforming and being transgender. So, if you're gender nonconforming, or if you're trans, or if you're non binary, or genderqueer, or any of the other words that we use to describe this kind of group of gender diverse people, uh, you've probably gotten a lot of comments in your life from cis people, maybe well meaning, um, often just rude saying, oh, you know, you're just trying to be special, you're not really any of these things, you're just gay, or you're just a lesbian, or you're just butch, or you're just whatever, um, taking your gender expression and saying, you don't need any of this identity, you don't need any of these words that you use for your internal sense of identity don't matter, because what I'm seeing is what's really going on, and you're just this. Uh, and that's really fucking rude. Hey, if anyone is, who's watching this video says that kind of shit, cut it out. Thanks. Um, but what they're getting at is they're saying that, you know, these distinctions are too minute, these distinctions don't matter, that what's really going on is that you're just this. And if you're not living in the reality of a trans person or a non-binary person, etc., cetera, um, it can be kind of confusing to see the difference. You know, you're seeing me in my video on dysphoria talking about, I don't like how people treat me. And then they're like, oh, well, isn't that just sexism? Um, no, because I'm not a butch woman. I'm not. If I was, that would be great. Butch women are awesome. Um, but I just happen to not be one of them. And being your, your gender expression is not the entirety of your identity, or at least it's not the entirety of mine. So it's not enough for me to just be a butch woman because it's not an issue of not being allowed to express the way that I want to because I can wear what I wear on a daily basis and no one gives me shit because they view me as a butch woman or they view me as a 14 year old boy or whatever and they, my gender expression is not threatening to cis people or to straight people so that it's not an issue. The issue isn't that. It's not just that I can't be who I want to be gender expression wise because I can. It's just that when I express this way, people continue to call me by my legal name, or they continue to call me she, or women, or bi girls, or things like that. And it's just, it feels very inauthentic to me. And at first, it was really just the feeling of dysphoria regarding how I was presenting. And I did switch, I mean, how I first began to realize I was trans was. Um, I started, for unrelated reasons, started wearing more pants, started wearing more button-up shirts, I started doing business casual, and I did, wasn't wearing skirts during that time because I didn't have a lot, and then I was like, oh, I don't have any skirts anymore, I should buy one, so I did, and I would lay it out at night, and I would say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to wear this, and then I would wake up in the morning and I would change my mind, and that wasn't too big a deal, I would do that with other clothes too, but, you know, a couple months in, I realized that every time I laid out the skirt, I would change my mind in the morning, and I had never worn the skirt. And eventually I started to realize, you know, how I, when my hair got too long, I would freak out. I had a panic attack one time, actually, because my hair got too long and I wanted to cut it and I couldn't, um, be just because of logistics. And uh, that was when I realized, you know, something, something different is going on. It's not just what I want to wear this month. Um, so I started doing research and I was trying to find a reflection of my experiences in other people's um, blogs. I basically just read a bunch of blogs. I read blogs by butch women, I read blogs by trans men, and I was just trying to find myself reflected in those experiences. And ultimately I did not. Um, what I did end up doing is I ended up reading like the entirety of the archive of Natalie Reed's blog, Sincerely Natalie Reed. Um, and she's, so she's amazing, and she was probably my first introduction to um, like trans people writing about themselves in a very like frank way that wasn't just it wasn't just like a timeline of HRT or something it was like this is what I think about trans community this is what I think about trends in the trans community this is how, what I think about this idea this this idea this idea um, and that was really amazing to me and I started and that was she was actually who I really saw myself reflected in um, which is interesting because she is a trans woman and I am not but it was eventually through the non-binary people that I met in real life that I felt comfortable finally identifying myself this way. And the longer that I have identified this way, the more 
annoyed I felt with being misgendered. Like, I've been identifying as non-binary now for four years? Five years, because I was 21, and I'm now 26. So five years. And I still don't have a fucking name. Okay, no, I, right now I'm using Felix, but it's not... I don't know if it's going to be permanent yet. Um, but I've gotten to the point where I just don't want to fuck around anymore. Like, no, I'm not gonna, just going to let people call me a girl. Like, I'm just I'm fucking... I'm bored. I'm like, I'm done. I did that for 21 years. I'm done. And so once I accepted myself as non-binary, I really had to... It really was the moment where I had to stop letting other people misgender me. And I don't know that I can get any more specific than that. Like, it's different because it feels different. Because I am okay with being a butch woman if I was one, which I'm not. It's not the same. It's not the same as being a trans guy, and I could be any of those things, but I happen to not be. Um, and if you think that my identity is too specific and confusing, then I don't give a shit. Get off my channel. There's a million other YouTube videos in the world. Watch. Go watch one of them. Watch some, watch some cast and feel better about yourself, okay? Take a break. Um, so I kind of babbled and I gotta go to work, but thanks for watching. If you have comments that you'd like to make, if you think that I missed an argument that would, be really, that would have been really good, please add them in the comments. And thank you, as always, for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you later.